What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are taking a trip down memory lane because this is a 2009 Ford Focus RS. So it's the Mark II Ford Focus RS and it is absolutely epic. One of the coolest cars Ford has ever made in my opinion. Uh, I mean just look at those flared wheel arches, the stance of this thing the aggressive front end and wow this spec is just 10 out of 10 if you ask me i think this is this makes me really really want one honestly it's one of those cars that i got in i started driving it like 10 minutes ago and i was like yeah i want one i need i need this one it it is so amazing. Um, this is actually Joop's car, who is a fellow YouTube celebrity. You might know him if you're Dutch, because he does the Autoweek Klokjerond videos, which means like they take very high mileage cars and they take a look at them uh, in you know what condition they are and uh, if there are any faults and stuff like that. He also owns Carrec Techno Center, uh, which is a workshop and he also makes his own videos on that channel so go check them out i'll link it in the description and he's got one of the coolest ford focus rs's in the netherlands if you ask me this performance blue is the rarest of the three colors that were available at launch ultimate green frozen white performance blue this is the way to go i mean almost everyone went for that ultimate green because that was the launch color and it was you know out there it was very flashy but this is the color if you ask me i think this looks it, it's like they designed it to be this color honestly with this like all this black in the front rs badge there the super aggressive front that just looks like it wants to eat you yeah this is amazing now they made eleven and a half thousand of these ford focus rs's i'm not sure what the uh numbers are color wise but this is the rarest and it's also the coolest it just looks like a rally car as well because Yup has added these mud flaps front and rear which i am a sucker for those i think that looks so cool and we've got these rs wheels as well super super nice with that multi-spoke look also looks like a rally wheel if you ask me uh, these are 235 section tires at the front 19 inch wheels with michelin pilot sport 4s tires it's got ebc racing brakes as well now the suspension on this car is very special it's called revo knuckle and it was designed to basically eliminate a lot of the torque steer you get in a front wheel drive car with a lot of power so it's a re-engineered mcpherson system which is a lot lighter and uh, a lot less expensive to develop than a multi-link or a double wishbone suspension would be and by adding the revo knuckle they basically separate the uh, steering from the suspension so it means that you don't have the problem of the front wheels and the front suspension having to cope with the bumps and the acceleration the power the braking and the steering all at once and even though it still has torque steer this one especially because it's been tuned uh, it is actually an amazing system and it works really well. Now, it's a three-door Focus, which means that you get this enormous door, which is just, look at that thing, and it's so heavy. But you still have like a relatively practical car. As you can see, we've got a child seat back there. You have a proper back seat and then these amazing blue bucket seats so this combination is even rarer to have like the blue bucket seats with the blue car uh, the seats were way too high from the factory but Joop has lowered these a bit so seating position is quite a bit better actually and then at the rear we've got this massive wing so cool again those mud flaps really add something for me because they just square out the car even more it makes it look like a rally car so it, it just fits. I think it, it really fits well. So suspension wise, I actually just spotted some yellow springs there. So I think this car is a KW spring kit. Exhaust, absolutely massive as you can see. And this is a proper, proper exhaust. It, it is real and it sounds amazing. And it's from Miltec. And it's the perfect exhaust for uh, this car because it's not too loud. 
but it does sound amazing. So to open the bonnet, get this Ford logo out of the way. And then with the key, twist it. Ah, just turn the key and then open it. Okay. So what we've got is a two and a half liter five cylinder engine derived from Volvo. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're back. I'm still here. Uh, they were actually super, super nice guys and uh, genuinely interested in the car. But uh, yeah, they knew that we were filming here a lot and uh, they just wanted to talk to me about sound and speed on the German roads, uh, which I can understand. And they were super nice about it. So yeah, <laughs> what we've got here is a two and a half liter five cylinder engine derived from Volvo and it was also in the Focus ST of this generation and uh, the way they got extra power from it this has 300 horsepower 440 newton meters stock and that is because it has a bigger turbo a bigger intercooler it's got a forged crankshaft it's got different pistons and some kind of coating and uh, yeah they really really extracted a lot from this engine even though you know it's a relatively big engine big engine small car absolutely love that concept uh, but they could take even more from this when they released the focus rs 500 in 2011 which had 350 horsepower with a bigger turbo an even bigger intercooler still but this car has been tuned I'm, I'm not sure if it has the mount tune package which would be around 350 horsepower but apparently this car has 370 ish horsepower right now with a puma speed intake manifold as well uh, a different intake and an ecu remap and it sounds so nice it it really is the sweet spot for this car if you ask me so close that back up and let's get out of here before i do get arrested no they probably wouldn't and of course, we've got these flared arches. Now, this car has done 140,000 kilometers. And apparently, even though this looks amazing on the outside, it really does. And it is, you know, there because the car has a wider track. So they needed to widen the car to house those wheels. But apparently, it's not been done really well on the inside. And uh, apparently, they just rust away. So Joop has had this car apart, completely apart. And well, it's done 140,000 kilometers, but it feels like it's brand freaking new. It really does. And that is because you took it apart and uh, fixed everything. And he also changed all the rubbers on the suspension and stuff like that. So it honestly feels like it's new. And it's just amazing. Oh, I'm so excited about this car. I really am because I was a bit worried that after 12 years, I mean, honestly, we uploaded a video of this car February 20th, 2011. So that's almost to the day 12 years ago. And I was worried that it might, you know, let me down a bit. You know, that the car was better in my memory than it actually was. But it's not, it, it's amazing. Well, at least in this setup with this Miltec exhaust, an intake, a little tune on it. <sighs> I want to own this car, I, I really do. But I don't want too many cars, but I also want a lot of cars. It's a, it's a real problem. Like, I guess you guys can relate to that. Okay, so let's do a little tunnel run, making sure not to pass 70 kilometers an hour. Oh, that is a good sound. That is a good sound. It sounds really like deep. Turn off traction control. Oh, listen to that intake. <laughs> Makes me sound like a waste gate too. <laughs> oh, that is so lovely. So it it like pops and bangs but in the best way possible. It sounds natural. Sometimes, you know, you close to the rev limiter or at full boost, 1.4 bar for this Focus RS, which is double the turbo pressure of uh, an ST. But you have like this 
this this bang in the exhaust, a very deep and loud bang. Sometimes, not all the time, which is that is what you want. You just want it to feel natural. It also bangs and crackles a lot on like the rev limiter, which is really nice. So you do have a bit of torque steer. But it's nothing that you can manage really. It, it just pulls a bit and uh, it's nothing scary. Handling is really good. As I said, it just feels like it's new and it's got that KW suspension. Oh, that is nice. That is freaking nice. This car is so legendary already. Oh, it is a future classic, this thing. I think I've said it before, everything with flared arches will become a classic. It's just a fact, a scientific fact. Okay, so let's hit a rev limiter in second gear here. What a car, what a car. I'm so happy that it still holds up after all these years. And it's even more special than, you know, when it came out because back then you had more of these like big engine hatchbacks. But now this is such a unicorn. Oh, yes, please. Wow, wow, wow. I do, I do feel like it, you know, it also has to do with the fact that this particular one feels this fresh and has been done to perfection. You know, it's, it's not too loud, it's not obnoxious or any more obnoxious than it already is. We also measured the 100 to 200 performance and it did around 11 seconds from 100 to 200 which is actually quite impressive running almost 7000 rpm there oh. and it picks up so well it's it's quite a big turbo but it after every shift, it actually picks up really well. Oh, that combination of like flutter and exhaust pop is freaking cardboard. There we go again. So these engines, these two and a half liter five cylinders from Volvo, apparently they are quite resilient. So if you leave it completely stock, it should be, you know, fine anyway. Apart from the stock intake manifold, apparently is not the best. But they seem to be doing all right, even though you at Carrack actually has another customer with this car who has had his engine rebuilt so yeah 
but the general opinion seems to be that these engines are quite sturdy uh, which is nice interior is not really that special apart from those seats of course we do have a bit of carbon there but it's not really carbon I think uh, but it just tells me that Ford spent their money on the right things you know it's an amazing car to drive apparently the choice in development was between having this crazy exterior and four-wheel drive it, it was one of the questions asked when developing it should we go for four-wheel drive which you know is a lot more expensive to develop or should it look as cool as it does and I'm actually quite happy that they went for this exterior and not four-wheel drive because you know even though you would be much more able to put the power down it, it just takes away a lot of the fun as well managing that power on those front wheels is just part of the fun and it actually copes really well last pull to the border so much for allowing us to take out your amazing Ford Focus RS Mark II. It, it really did not disappoint and you've got an amazing example here in the perfect spec with the perfect mods and it is in amazing condition. It, honestly it, it drives like it's new so thank you really appreciate it. Uh, go check out Joop and his company Carrec Techno Center using the link in the description. To you guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video or this playlist. See you at the next one, bye.